Alright, so welcome back to my video and in this video we're gonna make this delete button work. So remember in the previous video we have uh, we can add post in here and we can edit that out. And so basically now what we need to do is make that work, just the, the delete button. So now when we click the maybe post one and you delete that. It's gonna be go to the post process and it's gonna be send the uh, ID. All right. So now let's open VS Code and see in here. Okay, when we click the delete button, we send the uh, ID. And what we need to do is send something else in here. So just I just want to send. Just want to call that send. It's gonna be equals to del meaning delete okay so now save and back to the browser and reload uh, it's back in here so when I click the delete um, you know what <laughs> it should be an not dollar sign reload and when I click delete now we get ID and uh, send as well so in here so what we need to do in here is else if else if we get the parameter in url which is uh, get uh what is i call that send all right you can call anything you want it's gonna be equals to delete if we have that for now i just want to a whole uh post has been deleted okay so now save and back to the browser and okay when we click the delete button you see in here post has been deleted okay it's work but now what we need to do is we want to grab the ID so ID is going to be equals to get ID right why I'm doing that oh <laughs> get id and i'll save and we we need to run uh, another method in here so post and the method is going to be delete post del post okay and we send the id in here and let's copy this and paste in here so now save and for the class we need to add del post right here okay so let's create public function delete post and we send the type not title send the id right and let's create the sql query in here and the query is going to be a delete delete from post where id is going to be equals to question mark and just like we did it above so statement is going to be this connect and prepare pasting this sql in here and finally execute that out and we send the id 
okay so now save and back to the browser and go to the index so now when I want to remove the post one post one is gone okay so let's remove the post three right here let's remove everything in here okay and post is empty okay, I want to put the post is empty to the center so let's back to the index.php and in here let's create a class it's gonna be equals to mx auto and I want to create a margin top to 5 so now save and let's take a look reload and it's center all right so now let's try our app so let's create a pose and for the title it should be pose pose one and for the content let's copy the lorem in here paste in here and for the outer i want to say john doe add pose and we get a pose and let's create another pose it should be a pose to and paste in the content and the author it should be chan and add post and we have the post and of course we can edit that out and change the author to whatever we want say john smith john smith all right when i update the post we get the john smith in here okay and of course we can delete that and delete that all right i think that's it for this video and thank you for follow along for this playlist and um i put the link description below if you want to download this code in my github repository so thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye